Apple's subscription fitness app, Fitness Plus, launching today. CNBC's Todd Hazelton here with a review of the platform. Todd, b before we get to your review, I loved reading it uh, online. Y you, congrats. You must have been working out like unbelievable amounts in recent months because you seem <laughs> to review every single instructor on every <laughs> single platform. I tried to do a lot. Um, so over the past couple of months, I put a big uh, focus on my own health and I got really into the Peloton app. I don't have the actual Peloton, so this wasn't comparing it to the bike. It was to the 1299 service from Peloton that gives you access to their cycling classes as well as you know yoga and uh, all, all other sorts of classes, strength training, stuff like that. So Apple has its own version now. It's a little bit cheaper, $9.99 a month. And I used about uh, probably eight, eight 45 minute classes over the past couple of days and then another three or four of the shorter classes just to get a feel for the instructors. And it's a really similar idea. You get a bunch of classes to choose from. So you can do a cycling on your iPad, your iPhone or the Apple TV. You have to have an Apple Watch. And it shows you uh, the calories you've burned during the workout, your rings, so your exercise burn, and, uh, and other information like music that's playing, which you can download through Apple Music. And it's very similar to me, I guess, to the, to the Peloton app. But what I thought was really the hardest was trying to get used to the instructors because I really got into the Peloton instructors recently. Um, I have a few favorites. I love opening up the app and just going along with them. So Fitness Plus, I'm still trying to figure out you know, which instructor is my favorite and why. They don't really share a lot of information about themselves as, as much as they do on Peloton. So that was one of, a couple of thoughts I had. Todd, I know you and I both like Alex Toussaint. I think, I think we, share, yeah. we share that after reading your review. I've quoted him on the, sh on the show before in some of his motivational speeches. But just Love to be it. clear, as far as a Peloton competitor, you're talking about the Peloton app that people buy, right, or, or subscribe to without right, necessarily right. buying the Peloton machine. Are, are there any implications for the, for the machine if they can buy the Apple Fitness app? So, so I don't think, I think Peloton's did a great job, as I've seen, with getting people addicted to the machine and they stay with that and they like the classes. I think it's really sticky. And then, so that's $39 a month, that subscription service, aside from the cost of the bike, if you have the bike. But then Peloton offers the app for like Amazon Fire TV or iPads and Android tablets and phones that I was using with just a regular bike, a uh, regular fitness bike, a lot cheaper than a Peloton. And so that's cheaper. And I was just comparing the two, uh, Apple Fitness Plus, which is a lot more similar to that than as, as opposed to the hardware. And I think it's smart of Apple to get into this market because really, at the end of the day, fitness is great. But I think it's really about Apple's services business, which is up 16%, uh, I think, in the fourth quarter of this year. So Apple's trying to sell more of these, including Music, News Plus, Arcade, uh, the App Store and really about selling more Apple Watches and its own products. So if you look at it the way Peloton is, for example, you know they sell you the bike, you get addicted, you stay with Peloton. Apple, maybe they're selling you a watch. Okay, so buy this, have recurring revenue from these other services. And uh, so very similar services, the actual classes themselves. But yeah, I think, I, I don't see Apple pulling people away mm -hmm. from people who own the bike. It's a really good review, Todd. Uh, thanks so much uh, for, for breaking it down there. And do check out online, cnbc.com. Uh, for Todd's comparison to these Thank pages. You Thank you, sir. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.